this Will Smith guy, man, what the actual fuck, man? He just set black people back another 30 something fucking years. What an what a joke this guy is. What a joke. So you can take your wife getting plowed by random dudes, but you can't take someone cracking a joke about her being bald. Chris Rock didn't even know she had alopecia. He didn't even know she, he, he, uh, she had alopecia. But all of a sudden now, you go on stage at a comedian doing his job. Chris Rock was just standing there very loose, wasn't in any defensive stance because he thought, you know, Chris, uh, Will Smith was just coming over for like, you know, this little banter. But he just went over and slapped him. Man, Chris Chris Rock took the man. He took the high road there, man. Accol man, accolades, man. Big ups to to Chris Rock, man, for standing his ground and just being professional and carry on with the show. I would I would have tore that place up, man. Oh, man! Security didn't escort Will Smith out. He didn't get reprimanded. He got an award. He got awarded for being a dickhead. Do you know what this is gonna this is gonna make a lot of random people now feel like they can just go up on stage at a comedy show and attack comedians now for doing their jobs. So we're 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 at a stage now where we're so weak and soft we can't take a, a GI Jane joke. It's not even Chris Chris Rock's best joke. He's, he's got way more solid jokes than that he could have used, but he, a soft ass GI Jane joke. A primary school joke. And all the people trying to defend Will Smith and talk about this is black love. They'd love to see a man standing up for a black woman and shit. Guys, stay away from women like that. Those are the same type of women that would gas you up to go and defend your honor. And you end up doing something stupid and you either end up in jail or getting killed. Because this could have gone very bad for Will Smith. Very bad for Will Smith, man. You can't just walk up on stage and slap. That's a grown man you just smacked. That's a declaration of war. That's a declaration of war right there. You come and put your hands on me. And you're just going to walk back to your seat and just sit down and chill. And start screaming F-bombs at the Oscars. At the Academy of War, my lord. There are kids there. there are a bunch of all these white folks are there. And they're all thinking to themselves, I guess... Uh, we see why Oscar was so white. Oscar should have remained so white because you can't take these black folks nowhere. You can't take black people anywhere. Give them all the money in the world, all the accolades, all the fame, and he's still just a nigga in a suit. Will Smith just proved all the stereotypes, all the black men stereotypes of, of, of all time. Overly emotional, impulsive, violent, fucking idiot. Put that one up there. He's a fucking idiot. You go on stage at the Oscars and do something this stupid like this. And people trying to like, like take his side and be like, oh, she's got alopecia. He's standing up for his family. Standing up for his family. If someone breaks into your house at night and you F the person up, or, if, or if, even if you kill the person... You're standing up for your family. But someone will make a stupid high school joke. That wasn't even that funny. You were laughing at the joke. He was laughing, belly aching laughing. But he turned around and saw that his God didn't find it funny. So he was like, you know what? I'm going to go over and prove my masculinity to this woman. So she doesn't end up shagging someone in this auditorium tonight. Because I didn't take up for her. This is what happens... Number one, when men don't grow up with a masculine role model in the house, you can tell Chris, uh, Chris Rock grew up with both parents, a, a father that probably taught him decorum, and how to compose yourself in the face of adversity like this. Because Chris Rock is from Brooklyn. I know Will Smith is a lot bigger than he is and all that stuff. And really, Will Smith just went there to bully a smaller guy. But fuck that, Chris Rock could have done something too. 
but he decided to take the high road, which I have so much respect for him now because because of this. I wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't have done that, man. Do oh, do not try that with me. Oh man, my inner Nigerian is gonna come out. We will fuck the whole place up. We we'll tear this place up. Oh, bunch of security are gonna have to peel me off this dude. I would claw his fucking eyes out. Like anything goes. Once you put your hand on another grown man, everything goes, man. Everything goes. You're gonna walk up walk up on someone and just smack them. If that was somebody else, Will Smith would have been laid out flat. You think if 50 Cent made a joke like that on stage? You know 50 Cent likes to joke. You think if 50 Cent makes a joke like that, Will Smith is gonna walk up on, on 50 Cent? Or Snoop Dogg made, made a joke like that on stage? He's gonna walk up on Snoop Dogg and do that? All the crips will be on will be on his ass. He would need security for the rest of his fucking life. But I saw, oh, Chris Rock's a smaller guy. He and the thing is, people are making it seem like Chris Rock was just picking up, uh, picking on them and on the shy. They're all friends. Chris Rock, Jada Pickett, they're all friends. They all know each other. So he couldn't have given Chris Rock the eye, like in. You know that eye your parents give you when you when you misbehaving in public and they give you that look and you know, all right, I need to compose myself now, I'm getting an ass whooping. He couldn't have given Chris Rock that eye or spoken to him backstage and be like, dude, I didn't like that, man. Chris Rock would apologize and you would move on. But he found the joke funny initially and saw the wife didn't find it funny. Then he was like, all right, I need to go and assert myself. I'm a man. I'm a man. I've got balls. You know, she's emasculated me over all these years. Telling the whole world how she's been fucking the entire neighborhood. But nope. Not today. Today, Tonight is the night I'm going to show I am a man. Tonight that I'm winning my first Oscar. I'm going to overshadow everything. Overshadow everybody else's achievements tonight. And just prove. I'm going to use this stage to prove that I'm a man. I'm going to turn the Oscar to the BET Awards. Jesus Christ, when they don't invite black people over next time, you don't moan, don't complain, don't cry and beg and bitch. This is the reason why. Black folks go places and fuck shit up. You can be a multi, multi, multi million dollar celebrity, but you're still just a fucking nigga in a suit. I'm pissed off, man. This, I'm pissed off. Fucking idiot, man. You have a bunch of other black women taking his side like he's, like he's Spartacus or something. Like he's fighting for some just cause. It's, she had fucking alopecia. She's not terminally ill. It's alopecia, man. Never, people go bald every time. I am fucking bald. People make bald joke about me all the time. I don't go around trying to fight everybody. Run up on the wrong one and see what happens to you. Man, ooh, man. These fucking people, man. Ugh, man, I'm out.